it's Ruthie and Clay again, and we're done going to the bank. On to the next stop, and uh, this is the school. We're giving you the scenic route. It's the middle school. It's the, this is the middle school. Leavenworth Middle School for Wolka. That's not our our hometown. It's the next, in the next Walcott door. town, yeah. But we, but this is like almost like a sister town because it's so close to us. And it's a nice little quiet town. You don't hear a lot of uh, mischief going on here. Other maybe a few DWIs in the paper. But... Now our paper is different too. And if and I first when I moved here, it was kind of different because because what they'll do is they will have like crimes in the paper that are like I mean like little like maybe things that you wouldn't see normally you know so thefts at Walmart things like that yeah little things that maybe DWIs yeah some of the activity that goes on in the paper you know it's like small town news and um, it's like our our paper is almost like one of the hometown papers sometimes and there's the elementary school but we get the Syracuse and the Rochester paper out here too, because we're in between the both areas. And they're gonna build a new family dollar That's out here. Right there. Everybody's excited about it because well, um, we've already got the family dollar. They just they're moving down here for them. Because these these little stores like this, they do a lot of business out here because we like that um, they have more well, food. Down next and, to the Rite Aid, we've got quite a few little. Down across from the McDonald's. I forgot my sunglasses. I've got mine right there if you want to use them. Yeah, well, I'll be okay. They usually fall off me sometimes. But I guess I share that as a coupon or two and looking for freebies and stuff. You know, I know from living in Baldwinsville from, to moving here, a lot of people didn't use the family dollar and those. They would just go to the mall. But out here, we use those stores, and it's really nice because it's a lot cheaper. So, like, I don't turn my nose up at Family Dollar or Dollar General because they're a lot cheaper. Plus, I noticed that out here, like our Aldi's and our some of our little stores like that are actually even cheaper up here. A little bit cheaper. So, you just get a little bit out of the way, and then it's like, wow. So, I can do, like, my whole grocery shopping except for some meat. And things like that. Now we're back on the main highway, which is Route 104. Mm -hmm. So I can do like a lot of my grocery shopping at those little stores there. I've got a ladybug in my hand. Oh, is that one of those? What do you call that kind of bug? What is a ladybug. It? They bite though, don't they? No, the other ones do. Oh, that's that's one of the other ones then. Yeah, there's another one that looks just like a ladybug. It just went out the window. There's I, another bug. I can't remember what they called them. But they bite. Yeah, I had one of them on me. I thought it was a nice, cute little ladybug, and it bit me. Yeah, you had the other type of bug. That was a ladybug. And they look a lot like a ladybug. Yeah, they do. I was surprised with it being as warm as it is. Why the ladybug was out of dormancy? But I had a ladybug got my hands in the house the other day. Usually they're uh, dormant this time of year. We don't normally get bothered too much by the ladybugs till the fall. Fall, they're usually all over the place. We don't have a lot of, of course, being in the north, you don't have a lot of bugs. But in the summer, you'll get, you'll see bugs, but everything kind of dies out over uh, the cold. They just go dormant. Yeah, they, they go dormant. But we have nice, lush greenery. Yeah, you can see there's cornfields and farm farmland we're not New York for most people that hear the word New York they think New York City we're very far from what you would consider city life even in in uh, Baldwinville what well, this is all rural community even where I was from the suburbs which is about half an hour well, about 45 minutes away um, there's farms there you know, there's farms all over. It's just that there's more farms coming out this way. But there was farms, in fact, when my parents moved there years ago, it was all farms. They were, it was all farming like this, and then I've always the enjoyed living over. this way. Yeah, oh, I love it. 
And you know, people live longer out here too. The air is cleaner. So who was telling us that? The doctor? Where did we hear that about the air quality being so good out here? Uh, I don't remember, but I know it is. Yeah, the air quality is a lot better. And I noticed that I had really bad allergies and I don't have them out here. You know, a lot better. I mean, I used to not be able to breathe in the winter. It was terrible. And I always had sinus and oh my goodness, all kinds of problems. And I don't have that stuff out here. And I never just breathed out of my nose until I moved out here. I was a mouth breather. <laughs> but now I breathe out of my nose and I never did that until I moved out here. And I think it's just a better air quality. Right, you're not supposed to breathe out of your mouth anyways. Oh, I know, but I couldn't breathe out of my nose. I couldn't get the air in that I needed because I have, what is it, that deviated septum? That's why, deviated septum. Yeah. That's why you have hairs inside your nose is to help filter the dust and debris out of the air. And that's probably why I don't have the allergy problems, too. And there, we've got lots of grapes, winery-type things up here. You know, it's wine country, they call it. You know, and up in New York, a lot of those types of things. Those were dwarf fruit trees. Oh, those were wild. I, I'm sorry. But we sorry. do have a lot of wineries out this way. Sorry, guys. Well, this is apple country, too, right yes, through here. This is Wayne County is apple country. And uh, we are... I think that, well, I think we're in central New York. You're right. Upstate New York. We're, we're the second largest growers of apples up here in Wayne County. And I will tell you, the apples are delicious. Next to Washington State. In there, yes. Yep. And the apples are absolutely delicious. They truly are very, very good. And of course, we love it because uh, we get them fresh. Because... You may not know this, but everybody up here has worked in the apple factories, and I actually took a job in the apple factory after I met Clay for a little bit, you know, coming up here trying to find some work, and I was surprised at how old the apples are when in the stores, some of them. They can be almost like a year old before you get them. Well, that's because they're in cold storage. Yep. Doesn't mean they're bad, it just means they're... Yeah, they're not bad. In, ...been in cold storage. But I'm surprised they keep on. Oh, yeah, the apples keep for a long time. So apple season starts up here and the little apple but if, factories open. See, when, when the, they start picking apples, we have the little roadside stand so you get fresh apples and don't have to buy them in the store and worry about whether they're a couple months old or, <coughs> or older. Where in the big cities, you go to Wegmans and that, you're getting apples from cold storage. You're not getting fresh fruit. And we talked about this before in a video too and because I found this when I worked at the apple factory. Because, you know, I didn't know anything about food. Speaking of Wegmans, there goes a Wegmans truck. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't know anything about food storage or anything like that. And so I would go through and you have to pick my brands of food. Of course, fruit. a lot of these people don't know what a Wegmans is either. Because Wegmans is a New York oh, it's supermarket a branch. It's almost like down south with Piggly Wiggly and things like food that. Food Lion and that type of thing, I guess. And Tops and... Tops is another one up Price here. Price Chopper. Price Chopper. Those are all New York stores. Well, the other thing I was going to say about the apples is when you're working on the food, you know, the um, factory line, they'll take, you're, they're putting all the same apples in different bags. Like they'll have the apples come well, down. that's part of processing. They do that all over the, not just apples, but they do it with canned goods and everything. You have grades of food, A grade, B grade, and C grade. And depending on your uh, top labels, you get the A grade product, which is probably 100% flawless. And then uh, say you get one flaw out of 100 would be a B grade, and maybe two or three out of 100 would be a C grade. Doesn't mean they're bad, just means you might get a stem or no, but your green beans, or you might get a, you know, something in the corn or something. But with I, an A grade, A grade, you don't get that, which they don't tell you on the can whether it's A, B, or C, anyways. But I was saying is they'll, they'll that's put, just part of processing. They'll put the same fruit that's going down the line that says generic in the different, in the different pack in a name brand. <laughs> brand yeah, you might bag. you might go into a brand name bag and then 
Ten minutes later, after that order is filled out, they might go into a. They say stop dollar, the line. Might go into a Dollar General bag. You never know. They'll say stop the line. We're ready to change the bag. It's the exact same food, only in a different bag. And so everybody, a lot of people out there have to buy um, brand names because they won't eat anything but a brand name. Well, let me tell you something. Some of the stuff you're eating that's a brand name isn't any different than the stuff that's what you would call either a white or a yellow label. And they're doing it, and they do it not in everything, dairy, everything. It's, it's part of processing. So, I mean, it's the good name brands. I mean, it's not like a nice name brand. I mean, it's like the, the brand.